Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Matt's Cigars and Whiskies. In this episode, I'm going to be taking you through a Cuban cigar review. Now, this Cuban is a Cohiba. Cohiba is a very well-known name out there in the market. A lot of people who smoke cigars, most will have heard of Cohiba. They are classed sometimes as the creme de la creme, the best. These Cohibas in the past were kept for dignitaries and high up people in Cuba before they became on sale to the general market. Now what I'm going to be doing for you today is the Cohiba Maduro 5 Secritos. Now this is a 4 and 3 eighths by 40 size cigar. It's not huge, it's going to be around about 20 minutes to half an hour smoking time depending on how quick you go through it. It's a Maduro wrapper and the Maduro 5 signifies the amount of years the wrapper was left curing in hogshead barrel casks. Now those five years of fermentation, that Maduro wrapper, the dark brown Maduro, has taken on sweet flavours. It would have absorbed some of the flavours from the barrel and I'm hoping this is going to be an absolutely beautiful smoke. I mean, Cohibas in general... You do sometimes get bad ones, but most of the time they are good. They are handmade. Yet again, this is a long filler cigar. It's got the same internal binder and filling that you would find in a normal Cohiba. It's just this wrapper that's been aged for five years in the hogshead, which makes it different. Now, this is a line that was called the Linea Maduro series that came out in 2007, just to add a little something different to the Cohiba range. They average price for these, you're looking at around about £20. I paid £19.59 for this from Seagars in the UK. If you check the description in here, I will also include other places that you can buy this absolutely stunning cigar from in the UK. I mean, if you can check that, hopefully you can see it very well in the camera. It's beautiful. It really is a dark wrapper. It's a fairly... Well, it's well made, you can't see any seams, there's a few little veins in there, but it is very, very nice. And the Cohiba band, you can tell this is genuine, because if you look within the head, if you can get this, you won't be able to see it very well. I don't think, if you look within the head, on the head on Cohiba, there's another head within it. And if I was to take my UV light out as well, there would be other holograms or holographic images showing up. I've already checked it, it is a definite genuine Cohiba. I bought this from Seagars in the UK and they are very good when it comes to things like that. Now let's just have a quick smell on this. Coffee. Coffee and earthiness is what I get from that, just smelling the wrapper. That fermentation process has given it some really deep flavours, some really deep smell coming from that. I really can't, can't wait to get this, uh, get this lit up. So. Let's get in the garden, let's get this lit up, let's see where it takes us. Before we head out there though, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before and you're coming back, thank you very much for watching another one. If you're new, hit that subscribe button down there, give me a like, ring the bell notification, you'll find out whenever my new videos are coming out. Let's get outside and let's see where this Cohiba takes us. Right, welcome back. We are outside with the Cohiba Maduro 5 Secreto Cigar. What I'm going to do is a triple cap. I'll just nick a little bit off the end. Straight cut. Spot on. Not too far down, not too far up. And let's get her toasted and let's get her lit. Like I say, it's been cured for five years. That is why it has the Secretos 5 name. Maduro 5 series. They're meant to be very nice cigars. They really are. I see a lot of people raving about these on the uh, on the internet, and a lot of people who smoke them say they're very good. But it's just a case of toasting this just right. You don't want to ruin it. Get it toasted. Let's see where it takes us on the first couple of pulls. Mm. Mm. 
very earthy, very chocolatey. Very, very, very chocolatey and earthy. Mm. Good draw. No issues with that draw whatsoever. That is absolutely perfect. It's been kept at around about 69 in my humidor. And to be honest with you, the first taste of that, it is slightly bitter, like a more bittery chocolate type taste. Very earthy, but you've got a chocolatey coffee note in there as well. It tastes very nice. It's what you'd expect from a Maduro wrapper, to be honest with you. Mm. Very, very nice indeed. Do love a Cohiba. I like them in my humidor as well. Mainly, yes, they're good cigars, but there's something about having that band in your humidor. You look in there, it just looks nice. It really does. They've got some of the best bands out there, if you ask me, the Cohibas. They're absolutely beautiful. You can definitely see why they're held in such high regard around the world. Oh. Oh. Beautiful smoke output. Really, really nice. Like I say, off from the off on this, bitter, dark chocolate, very earthy. Slight peppery note in there as well. But it's mainly the earthiness that's coming through. What I'll do is I'll smoke this down through the first third, I'll come back and I'll give my thoughts on it. Welcome back. We're about 10 minutes into this now as you can see the burn on this is very nice i've had not had to do any touching up whatsoever the ash has just dropped on this as well mm. but the flavors on this i would say it's more a medium strength cigar even with a maduro wrapper it's not punching it's not heavy the flavors are absolutely beautiful there's an earthiness to it there's a nuttiness as well you're talking more hazelnuts, uh, that sort of flavour. Definite chocolate, but it's more like I say, a bitter dark chocolate. But the earthiness is what sits on top of this, and it is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. I had no problems with the drawer at all. Oh. Absolutely lovely. This cigar would be perfect perfect if you matched it up with a rum I reckon something like a Kraken or a Havana Club a dark rum that would pair with this absolutely superbly but like I say it's not a long smoke you're talking 20 minutes to half an hour maximum so it's a really nice Cohiba if you haven't got much time to go and sit in the garden and just relax of course it's got the standard Qu uh, Cuban tang it has the tobaccos from the Vuelta a Bajo region as well but it's that Maduro wrapper that makes this. It is beautiful. It's been cured for all them time. That's where I believe the nutty flavors are coming from and the bitter chocolate are from the curing process. Mm. But like I say, that burn, the smoke, no issues with this at all. It's fantastic. It really, really is. What I'll do is I'll take this down to the last little bit. I'll have to get that band off in a second. And when I get this down, I'll give my final thoughts on the Cohiba Maduro 5 Secretos Cigar. Welcome back to the final third on the Cohiba Secretos Maduro 5 Cigar. It's beautiful. It really is. Now I'm down to the last little bit of this. As you can see, the ash and the burn. I've had no touching issues with this whatsoever. No burn issues. The drawer is fantastic. It has been a real pleasure to smoke. It really, really has. But now we're down this far. Mm. The earthiness has become more of an undertone in this now. What's taken over on this is the bitter chocolate flavors and there's a pepper note as well. I can feel the pepper tingling on the tip of my tongue, but the bitter dark chocolate, slight coffee note in there as well. The earthiness sits underneath that. But the further down I've come, those chocolate flavours have really come into their own. They really, really have. But like I say, there is now a peppery note as well. Beautiful, fantastically made Cohiba. Like I say, it's got the Cuban twang. You can definitely tell it's a Cuban when you're smoking it. I've had no problems with this when it comes to strength. 
at all it's not super strong it's more of a medium maybe a little tiny bit above medium maybe a notch above but it's not pushing into full body territory at all the finish is fairly long the pepper notes and the earthiness sit in your mouth you can definitely taste them after you've smoked this but it's beautiful it really really is it's taken me around about 25 minutes to get down to this far and i'm going to put this out in a minute because it is starting to warm up it's become fairly spongy but there is a bit of warmth coming through now when i smoke this which will turn the flavours from the nice bitter and they will normally turn them into a nasty bitter flavour because the tobacco at the end is heating up quite a lot. Smoking this as I watched as I took the pulls, you could see the oils on the actual wrapper itself burning away. It's a very well made cigar, it really is. Marks out of 10 for this. It's 20 pounds, it's a short smoke. It's gonna be a seven and a half out of five out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. It's good, it's a Cohiba, it's not, fantastic it's not up there with the sea glows or nothing like that but it is very good for what it is and i would strongly recommend this to anybody out there wishing to try a darper wrapper, wrapper maduro with lovely flavors it really really is i'll put uh, some links in the bottom of the description of where you can buy this from in the uk and like i say if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe give this video a like just follow me just so you can see the videos that come out it's always appreciated it really really is but what i'll do is i'll leave that there you take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next review mm.